morning, guys. If, for those of you who might not have been there originally, um, what we started with was we started with our um, our blue peace, blue sphere of peace meditation, and we've built three components into it. We built a nerve sense component into it, which is the blue energy of peace. We've um, built a heart feeling component into it, which is um, about our breathing technique and our bringing our loving feelings and of gratitude and things to appreciate into our heart. And we've also talked yesterday about how to think about willing, how to live into the metabolic limb system and how to think about potentially using our will to, well, in a more conscious way, instead of being apathetic, <laughs> which is easy to do sometimes. <laughs> So that is the threefoldedness of the human being is going between thinking, feeling, and willing. And we built that in a way where um, we did it in a sequence of also in, as a last step yesterday, including grounding. So we're going to build on those three steps today in a slightly different way. Um, we're actually going to use something that's called the unity breath, which um, uses the same threefoldedness, um, but, but does it in a slightly different way. And so as we do it together, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. And then we're actually going to practice a little bit going into the sacred space of the heart. Um, now, you might not have heard of doing that before, and that's okay. It's, it's This is not a test. <laughs> so um, I've often taught patients over the years how to do the meditation for the sacred space of the heart. Um, and we'll talk a little bit um, more about this probably tomorrow after you've had the chance to experience it today, because it might you might just kind of have to sit with a little bit today and figure out what that means for you. But in many religions and cultures across the world, there are references to the sacred space of the heart. There's actually a book of the Torah about it. Um, and there are many native traditions that use that same, not exactly the same terminology, but what likely sounds like the same um, type of centering into a space. Um, and of course, we've talked at great length about the importance of the heart and the electromagnetic field around it. Um, but what I didn't tell you was that there's um, a field, the field that goes around your heart, the electromagnetic field that goes around your heart actually looks like, um, well, it's a form in geometry that's called a toroid. It's, it's kind of like a donut. So the quintessential Canadian donut. <laughs> um, and but it's a donut like that basically would be almost as though you would be in the center hole of the donut, <laughs> except for in a toroid. There's, there is, um, although there is a, a vortex that goes through the middle, it's not a true hole. <laughs> and then there's also a smaller toroid um, that's nestled within that larger one. So the larger toroid is probably about eight or nine feet across. And the smaller one is much um, tighter and more right around the chest and focused on the heart. And it's thought that the sacred space of the heart is actually that spot right in the middle of the vortex coming in and coming out of that donut form. Um, perhaps tomorrow I'll see if I can find us a bit of a picture and stick that up instead of my face so that you can have a, have a sense of it. But if you have a chance today too, you can also maybe even look up the term toroid and you'll have a chance to to see it. So we're going to work into this space today and we're not going to work um, too much into it. I just want to show you how to get into that space and what that feels like. But for my own self, if I'm going to do a meditation um, and I don't have anything in particular that I want to meditate about, or I'm not bringing a problem into my meditation or something like that, I will usually use the sacred space of the heart um, as my meditation. So this is something like I said, I found very valuable over the years. And I'm hoping that you will too. So we're going to start 
um, literally, like I said, with a slightly different version of our threefold um, breathing or our, our threefold visualization. But let's start again um, just by uh, putting our attention on our breath. And we're going to breathe in and out for five seconds. If there's anybody who's on this call who has not experienced this um, type of breathing, it's in essence a way of creating very strong heart coherence. So we're actually creating a very beautiful sine wave rhythm to our heart rate acceleration and deceleration. And we do so simply and easily by using a five second in breath and a five second out breath. So let's just breathe together for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to use some different words um, than I have in the last three days to, to start to pull your attention into various locations. So let's breathe in for two, three, four, five, and out for two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, in and out. attention to the center of your chest. Stay in your body. Feel that we're all breathing together as one. Now let your attention shift to a place on earth that you feel is the most beautiful place in the world. It could be anywhere, a mountain with trees, lakes, rivers, or an arid sandy desert with almost no life. Whatever you perceive as beautiful, Pay attention to the detail of your scene, of your place. If your place is a mountain scene, see the mountains and white billowing clouds. See or sense the forest and the trees moving with wind. See animals, the deer, elk, little rabbits, squirrels. Look down and see the clear water of rivers. Perhaps you see an ocean. You can feel the life under the ocean. Perhaps you see an expanse of sand. Just pay attention to all the details that you seeing inside of yourself about this place that you find beautiful. Now staying in your chest, begin to feel love for this place and for all of nature. Continue to grow into this space of love with nature. And feel your heart beating with the warmth of your love. Now when the time feels right, 
send this love to the center of your earth, through your feet, anchoring once again like we did in previous times. Send that love down to the center of the earth using your intention so that Mother Earth can directly feel the love you have for her. You can place your love into a small sphere to contain it and send it to the mother if you wished. But it's your intention that's important. Then just wait as if you were a child. Wait until Mother Earth sends her love back to you and you can feel it. You are her child. And know that she loves you. And as the mother's love enters your body, open completely, allowing the love to move anywhere through your body. Let it enter all of your cells. Remember that Every piece of you physically comes from Mother Earth. Let the energy move through your whole light body. Let it move wherever it wishes to move. Feel this beautiful love your mother has surrounded you with and remain in this union with Mother Earth. without breaking this bond down through your feet to the earth and back. Look to the Heavenly Father. Look to the rest of creation beyond the earth. Place your attention on a night sky See the Milky Way as it meanders across the heavens. Watch the planets and the moon swirl around you and the earth. Feel the sun hidden beneath the earth. Realize the incredible depth of space. Feel the love that you have with the Father. For the Divine Father is the spirit of all creation, except the Divine Mother. And when this love becomes so great, it just can't stay inside of you any longer. Let it move into the heavens with your intention. Again, you can send your love into the heavens inside a small sphere, if you wish. You can send the small sphere into the unity grid consciousness around the earth. If you don't know what that is, that's fine. Just send your love to the sun. Sun is connected to all other suns or stars and eventually to all life everywhere. Your intent is for your love to reach all life everywhere. And once your love has been sent into the heavens to the Divine Father, again you wait. You wait for the Father to send his love back to you. And of course, he will always do so. Just like with the mother's love, when you feel the love of the Divine Father enter your being, let it move anywhere it wants to. 
It's your father's love and it is pure. At this moment, something that rarely happens is manifesting. The Holy Trinity is alive on earth. The Divine Mother and the Divine Father are joined with you in pure love. And you, Divine Child, complete the triangle. Again, keeping your attention to the center of your chest. Each breath in, pulling extra love from the Divine Mother and the Divine Father, combining it in your heart. Just sit here for a moment. Completely anchored. centered. Now I want you to bring your awareness again to the center of your chest. I want you to see through your skin as though you were a little sphere of light sitting in the center of your chest. See if you can imagine being able to see right out of the center of your chest. If you find yourself more still behind your eyes, that's fine. Just put your awareness in a little sphere. Drop down through the throat. Still trying to see out the front. Just that feeling of like being in an elevator. experiment a little bit, moving between your heart, your head, and your throat. Moving your center of awareness. that awareness, let's move towards your physical heart, slightly to the left in your chest. Not the heart chakra, but the actual physical heart. See or sense in your inner vision, in your heart. Feel yourself moving toward it. When you reach the heart, continue and move right through the membrane into the heart itself. Hear and feel the heart beating. Feel the softness of the tissue surrounding you. Feel how different this is from the hardness of the skull around the head. Although you could stay here, don't be concerned with the sacred space at this time. Only feel what it feels like to be in the heart. Now, when the time sees right, just move out of the heart. Let go of the membrane. 
Maybe come up for a moment to the throat. Continue back up to the head. Now what we're going to do See if you can sense or feel the top of that toroid spinning down into center of your chest, from wherever you are. Just picture like a little mini you up on your left collarbone, peering down into your chest. Just find yourself dropping, spinning down. As you spin down, you land in a room. When you land in this room, it might be dark, or it might not be. If it's dark, you can ask for a light. Be patient and gentle. It's a safe place, even if you can't see. Sometimes when you drop into this space, you'll immediately be aware that it's a room, perhaps familiar, perhaps not. Pay attention to what you see in the room, just noting it, just observing it. Don't see anything, that's also fine. Just stay in the warm, dark space. You want to bring light, bring light. If you see things around you, you've visited this space before. Maybe consciously, maybe not. This is a space that is yours and yours alone. can enter this space without an invitation. If you do feel scared or unsure, that's all right. You can bring in a protective being. Maybe you have an angel. Maybe you have an ancestor that you'd like to have accompany you in this space. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. The goal today is just to feel this space and observe it. yourself again, either stepping out of the back of this space, or finding yourself again coming up onto your left collarbone, feel your feet on the ground, Calm. And 
a moment that seems right for you. Just find yourself out of that space. Peaceful in your body. Keep your eyes closed for just a moment. come to today's poem. Speak your truth. Listen when others speak theirs too. When you let go of fear, you will learn to love others and you will let them love you. Do not be afraid of dying, but do not be afraid to live. Ask yourself what that means. Open your heart to love, for that is why you're here. And know that you are, and always have been, one with me and all who live. When it seems like the right moment, open your eyes. Bring your awareness to the room. It's time to go into our morning. I hope you have a wonderful one. Keep this experience of that sacred space of your heart and the feeling of it with you today until tomorrow. And we're going to experiment with it again. Have a wonderful day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.